nail friends recently I did this really cool set of nails on Instagram and a lot of people asked me to film it so I thought I'd redo it on my friend Jenny and show you guys how it was done so if you like that just keep watching I already prepped primed and added a clear layer of acrylic on her nails so I'm just starting using Glam and Glitz Marilyn this is just a solid black and my crystal nails brush to apply it Starting with my pinky here, I'm just applying it a bit further back from the cuticle area and it's really sticking to my brush. Black is one of the hardest colors to use because it's highly pigmented. So I'm just going to push it up with the tip of my brush towards the cuticle area. I always try to get my cuticle nice and flush or perfect and even before pulling the color down the nail. Once I'm happy with the cuticle area, then I go ahead and drag this down or paint this on. Uh, this color I did a little bit thicker on her pinky, so I'm able to pat it down instead of paint. But you can totally paint on Glam & Glitz colors because they're super pigmented and they apply nice and thin. You can also build with them, but I prefer to encapsulate in clear. After extensively cleaning off the black for my brush, I'm using Glam & Glitz Afterglow. This is just a nice solid white color and it glows in the dark. And I'm going to be using this on both her middle fingers and this nail will be the one that has the smoke on it. For the nude used in this set, I'm using Ugly Duckling's Foo Foo Pink. This is just a really nice cover pink. I'm almost out of it, so I better get some more. So I'm just placing this on the pointer finger, and then I'm just going to push it into place just like normal. I made sure to remove most of the color or all of it underneath this nail because cover pinks aren't completely full coverage. So just make sure you remove every ounce of bright color under there. I am going to be painting a design on this one, so if you do see color underneath, you can always try to cover it with your hand-painted design, but I just wanted to make sure to get all that color off before doing that. For her ring finger, I'm going to be doing kind of a grungy design with the nude and the black. This isn't a perfect marble that I'm going for, but I am using a tiny art brush just to kind of swirl the colors together better. Normally, I don't want my colors to go muddy, but on this one, it's totally fine because I'm kind of going for a grungy look. So you just want to place the two colors either together or down separately and then pull them through each other with the tip of the brush. It's super easy. I also got the idea for this ring finger from Fina Nail Lounge on Instagram and I'll try to link them down below in my description box. And here I'm just repeating the process again on the ring finger. I just want to show you guys because I thought it was super fun to do. So it's nice to watch too. <laughs> To 
to encapsulate all these nails, I'm using my Coraline Envy brand. You can get this at Arts Desire Beauty Pro, and I will link that down below as well. And I'm just using the same Crystal Nails brush again and applying this on the pinky. I like to apply a little bit wetter when I'm doing it on top of black, just in case you get any bubbles or dust. No one wants bubbles or dust, you want nice solid plain black. So I like to apply it a little bit wetter and then drag it down the nail quicker than I would on any other color just to avoid that potential bubbles. After both hands have been encapsulated and are dry, I come back to the first hand that I encapsulated and I'm just finished filing with an e-file. I'm using a flame bit, this is the one I use to do all my color changes, and I'm just debulking the nail with that. And then I'm going over the nail and fixing the sidewalls and shape with a hand file, and then I take a white buffing block and buff the whole surface. I'm wiping all the dust off with a little bit of acetone, and then I had her go wash her hands. Now I'm using my Ugly Duckling number 43 gel polish and my stripey brush that has seen better days. And I'm just drawing some random lines on the nails. And then I'm taking my Light Elegance swirly brush, this is a little bit smaller, dipping it in alcohol and then going over this line. So then you're going to soak up some of that alcohol with your brush and then wipe it off on a paper towel. But you want to leave the outline of the design you just drew and soak up as much color as you can. And then it kind of leaves this kind of smoky effect. It's super easy. Just play around with it and you'll be able to figure it out. I should also mention that I am curing each layer. So each time I draw a line and do the smoky effect, I'm curing it, moving on to her second hand and repeating the process, curing that and going back and continuing to do that till I get the look I like. I'm using my Universal Black Magic Gel Gel Paint. This is my favorite gel paint to do lines. And I'm using that same brush that I showed you guys earlier, the stripey brush, the one that I kind of screwed up. So I did struggle with these lines because that brush wasn't as perfect as it normally is. And I'm gonna have to get a new one. And I'm super sad because it's my favorite brush. So basically just draw some lines, cure in between each line, and then do some dots and some shading. To do my 3D, I'm using my Ugly Duckling Acrylic 3D brush. I did kind of smush the tip there as well. Whoops. Treating my brushes like garbage lately. So then I'm just adding this white acrylic and then I'm just smooshing it into place. These flowers don't have to be perfect because they're going to be kind of surrounded and covered in crystals. So just put a bead down and then push it into a petal and then keep repeating the process until you're happy with it. I just added three petals because I was copying this design from Fina Nail Lounge and I really liked the way it looked with just the three petals. To apply crystals, I'm using my Kira Sky base and my Ugly Duckling blinger tool. And then the crystals I'm applying are rose gold crystals I got from Beamy. I'll link them down below. I wanted these nails to be matte, so I'm using my Ugly Duckling matte top coat and just applying this all over all these nails and giving them a full cure. And a reminder to not get your top coat on your crystals. Mm -hmm. 
And here is the finished result. These I did in coffin shape because they just suit her better, but the one I did on Instagram was pointy. So what do you guys like better, pointy or coffin shape? I hope you guys like this design, and if you recreate it, please tag me. I'd love to see. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe. Keep your nails long and your glitter strong.